Three women join an assassin program with the CIA to go and become some female Jason Bourne type killers. And after six months of hard training, they're ready for graduation and they turn up to the CIA only to walk into a room with the table, three guns on it and three doors and their instructor. And the instructor says, ladies, you've almost graduated. I require one more test from you. Pick up the gun, walk through a door, kill the man sitting there. And which woman picks up the gun, walks through the door. The first woman turns back immediately and says, how dare you? That's my husband in there. I'm not going to kill my husband. He's a good man. And the instructor says, relax, relax, relax. He's in on it. The gun's full of blanks. It's the test. You just passed it. You passed the test. We don't create murderers. We don't create psychopaths. Well done. You're now an assassin. And she goes off happily. The second woman walks in and after like an awkward five, 10 second pause, she eventually somewhat reluctantly walks back out the door and says, oh, I decided not to do it. And the instructor says, well, good, great. Uh, you passed the test. By the way, the gun was full of blanks. How's your marriage? And she kind of graduates and, and goes off. But the third woman walks in, walks straight through the door and goes, <laughs> click, 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 click. And then there's the sound of a huge battle, a table being turned over, a chair being broken. And eventually she walks back out the door with like a black eye and a bleeding nose. And she's holding a, a bloody stiletto in one hand. And she says to the instructor, some idiot put blanks in that gun. Man, I was lucky I wore heels. Okay, nice joke, but clearly the third lady failed the test. You're not supposed to stab your husband in the neck with a stiletto. It's a metaphor for life, that joke. Well, for life at the moment in the Western world right now, we're failing a lot of tests. When people say to us, we should make a statement about justice, here's one I prepared for you, hashtag believe all women, we're not supposed to believe that. That's a test. Anyone that thinks this, the statement about justice immediately believe anyone that has any sort of claim at all. That particular statement is the antithesis of justice. That person has failed the test. Anyone that simultaneously believes there are no genders, the genders are equal, men oppress women, that person is failing the test. You can't believe those three things at the same time. You can try and believe any one of those things, but not all three of them. Anyone that's believing that there's no such thing as the female brain, right? Like it's not that if you know a female and she has a female brain, her advanced hippocampus or thicker, what are they called, uh, contours, means that she fucking whatever can't park in a car park or can't drive or can't do maths or can't be an astronaut or whatever. There's no such thing about as the female brain. And so all of those uh, generalizations are sexist. But at the same time, a trans woman is someone that is born with a male body, but a female brain. Like, again, you can't believe those things at the same time. And everyone that's trying to believe them is merely communicating to the world that we're failing the test. If you're listening to this, the tests are coming for you. You're going to have to see them and you're going to have to pass them. The problem is you'll be really unpopular when you do. It seems to be the way of things when you speak truth to power, as they say, or when you call bullshit when you see it, the mob turns to, to turn upon you. And I, I don't really know why it does. I suppose the mob is composed of people who have long since failed that test and they want you to join them. They want to join you as an, you, they want you to join them as an intellectual pariah, someone that wasn't clever enough. And I'm not saying it's just that those people are dumb. I think it's because they, they turned political too soon, too early in life. I think that might be the reason for it. But if you speak truth to power, yeah, you're not going to be popular. You'll probably be somewhat socially destroyed. The solution is to go out and find a tribe. It's what I did. I joined Fraternity of Excellence. It's a group of guys who we don't talk politics at all. Uh, I don't even know whether or not we sit on the left or the right. We just wouldn't even go there. But it's a group of guys who, in joining, this is what it is to me at least, amongst the many things that it is to me, it's a group of men who, in joining it, uh, have committed to the idea that we're going to speak the truth and we're going to be authentic men and we're going to leave this sort of like wearing of the mask or the veiling of who we are or the, um, the speaking of the empty virtue signaling tones, that's all they really are, mere bullshit utterances aside and be honest and authentic about who we are. And it's worked really well for me. I've been there for over two years now and it's it's just been great. They're a great group of guys, friends. And if in anything, it's it's really reduced. It's the reason I'm doing this video. I'm not scared anymore of, of saying the wrong thing and being left alone. I know I will never be left alone so long as I'm honest and authentic with those guys. So if you want to speak truth to power, if you want to pass last little tests, 
you got to make sure you have a group of friends or family to fall back on. And if you don't, consider joining one of those online tribes. I did it. It worked fine. And I recommend that you do it too. All right. That's enough for today. I'll be back with another video later in the week. Uh, thanks, guys. Charlie Delto. Hit subscribe and like, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye now.